as far as we are concerned, if Deep State was there, Uhuru Kenyatta would have won the presidential election in 2002 because Moi was behind him. Number two, if the Deep State was indeed there, then in 2005, President Kibaki would not have lost the referendum. If the deep state was there, then in 2013, Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto, who were facing a sitting vice president and a sitting prime minister as opponents for the presidential election, they would not have lost. I mean, they would not have won a sitting vice president and a sitting prime minister. But because there was no deep state, they won and won. Finally, if there was anything called the deep state, President Uhuru's and his deputy Ruto's election in 2017 would not have been overturned by the Supreme Court because the deep state would not have accepted. So an attempt to use the word deep state, just as the deputy president said a few days ago, is an attempt to intimidate Kenyans to think that there is no power in voting. We will not allow it. We are standing with the deputy president and saying that is just scaremongering to make Kenyans to accept a possible rigged election. We are calling upon Kenyans that they can take away everything from you. They can take away money meant to fight COVID for you. They can take away the money from your small businesses that have been your livelihoods. But there are two things they will not take away from you. Dear Kenyans, they will not take away your minds and they will not take away your ballot paper.